Welcome to our service for Ascension Day. A especially warm welcome to those of you who are joining us for the first time. Let's just still our hearts and minds before we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace be with you, and keep you in the love of Christ. Alleluia, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. We say the words of our opening prayer together. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you. No secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now come to the words that are appropriate for today. The Easter Tide Seasonal Kyries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We join together in saying, Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you and set you free from all sin, strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord, Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so let us pray the collect for today, which is, of course, Ascension Day. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. That collect reminds me of the uh, the word abide, which kept appearing uh, two Sundays ago in our gospel passage. So uh, we're now going to hear our readings prescribed for today. Our first reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, 
appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me, for John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up there towards heaven? This Jesus, who had been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appears to his disciples on the story of the Ascension. Then he appeared to them. These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. As today is a principal day in our calendar liturgically, um, I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, say the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Well, we now come to a period of silent prayer or reflection. I'm going to be pressing my pause button. If you press your pause button too, and then unpause it when you have finished your private devotions, we will be at the same time point and can continue together. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We continue with the prayer of humble access. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. And so we now come to the part of the service known as the peace, which has a seasonal introduction to it. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. And so I'm going to exchange a virtual handshake with you all as a sign of God's peace. Well, my altar table here is pre-prepared and so let's move to the thanksgiving. We celebrate together the gifts and the grace of God. We take this bread, we take this wine to follow Christ's example and obey his command. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your great goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your great goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so we turn to our Eucharistic prayer. If you're following in your little red books at home, then our Eucharistic prayer can be found on page 49. Before we begin, you be aware that the uh, proper preface changes today from that used from uh, Easter until the eve of Ascension to a new one which goes from Ascension Day on to Pentecost, the eve of Pentecost, uh, which is what we're now looking towards. Jesus has gone up into heaven. We're now in the period where we await the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty Everlasting God, 
through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, who, after his resurrection, showed himself to his apostles, and in their sight ascended into glory, to prepare a place for us, that where he is, we might be also. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, for evermore praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him accept our sacrifice of praise, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us, his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. Therefore, Heavenly Father, remembering the saving death and resurrection of your Son, we offer to you in thanksgiving this bread and this cup, your gifts to us. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all of us who share this bread and this cup. Strengthen our faith, make us one, and welcome us and all your people into the glorious kingdom of your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Our service continues on page 77. In a moment, uh, we'll be... Uh, having the Lord's Prayer, feel free to say it in whichever language you prefer. Um, when the time comes, I think it's the turn of the uh, a Welsh version for me. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we boldly pray. Ein tad, ar hunwyt yn y nefoedd, Dele de Dernas, Gnele Dura Wetlis, Megis and an Ev. Vetli are they are heavy. Doroini had you in Barabanodio, a mother in ye in the Ledion, Villamadeo Nina in the Ledwir. A knack are any brother de Gaith. Ether Guarad ni ragd rug. Can I say the tear Dernas? Arner for Gogonians, a noise so Amen.
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. And so we now come to the point of spiritual communion. We say our post-communion prayer together. Give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. And so we say the printed version of the post-communion prayer on page 83 of your red books or a sheet which you may be using at home. We thank you, Father, for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son in this holy sacrament, through which we are assured of the hope of eternal life. We offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Keep us in the fellowship of his body, the Church, and send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And so we use the special dismissal sentences and the blessing. Christ, our exalted King, pour upon you his abundant gifts that you may serve him and reign with him in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon us this day and remain with us for evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for being with me for this special service for Ascension Day. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now.